I'm Sherry Russell from mining.com.au and sitting next to me is Dr. Mike Jones, the Managing Director of Impact Minerals. Dr. Mike Jones, it's a pleasure to see you. How are you? Great to be here and uh, great to see you as usual, Shane. Now, we're here at the Noosa Mining Conference uh, and I wouldn't mind sort of you summarising the past quarter activity. So Q2 was super busy for the Lake Hope High Purity Aluminum Project. I've been practising. Uh, could you summarise some of those key events for me? Certainly. Uh, two major achievements. The first one was completing the pre-feasibility study on Lake Hope, and the numbers from that are pretty uh, outstanding. At NPV at a very conservative discount rate, 10%. Don't often see that. Uh, it is $1.2 billion with no byproducts uh, included. But the bigger number is the operating cost. We still believe, as we've said almost from day one, that we're going to be the lowest cost producer globally of HPA, as we understand it, and that's come through. We think we can believe we can produce it 30 to 40 percent cheaper than anybody else, including the leader in the space, Alpha HPA. So that's a, a huge outcome. So, well, look, the second uh, major event from last quarter was the acquisition of 50 percent shareholding in Aluminus. We picked up the HPA assets of one of our competitors in the space that went under. That was a very interesting experience in its own right. <laughs> and uh, but now we have a, a beautiful bolt-on uh, chemistry to help get HPA to bolt onto Lake Hope. Uh, it will change the pre-feasibility study numbers, but only for the better. And so we're now in the process of turning on the pilot plant that we managed to purchase. It was nearly 90% commissioned. Uh, we're hoping to have uh, some HPA, some white powder in our hands uh, in the next few weeks. And then we'll spend the rest of the year commissioning that and then get into offtake discussions and LOIs next year. So uh, we've really sped up the whole HPA process by a couple of years by that acquisition. And we're very excited by it. Uh, certainly is. So obviously that takes us to Q3. We're well into Q3 right now. Uh, what activities can we expect you to be doing in this quarter? So on the HPA side, obviously, we were just discussed to get the pilot plant up and running. Yep. Uh, we should be able to put out some uh, 4N, 99.99% purity assays, uh, get uh, things up to standard. We're also starting our research program with the uh, Edith Cowan University, funded by a federal government grant, nearly three million bucks uh, in co-funding. And there we're going to implement membrane technology, Ooh. which uh, I think is going to really change uh, the whole nature of mining coming up. I did say I was going to keep it to a two-question interview, but you've given me something juicy to okay, grab onto. Yeah. Uh, what is this membrane technology? Can we talk about it yet? We can. So Edith Cowan University are world-class researchers in membrane technology, which has been used for decades in the water industry, and they are now bringing it into the mining industry we're already doing some uh, amazing patents with lithium and rubidium. Alumina is going to be the next one. And we believe that the IP that we have, not just for HPA, but we'll get, is going to be applicable across a much broader range of uh, industry in terms of cleaning up our reagents and, uh, and also cleaning up any waste fluids that come, from the, uh, that come from the process. It's an amazing technology. And when you see it, it's very simple. It just looks like pieces of string, and, uh, but they're very cleverly designed pieces of string. So, oh, that yeah. sounds super exciting. I look forward to talking yeah. about that. Uh, listen, Mike, it was always a pleasure to chat. Uh, Great. Thank you for being here. Thanks very much, Jane.